the videos get worse across the Yu-Gi-Verse. Ripping off Simo is sure getting old. Next season is loading. It's time to get openings, so be bold. But first, this video is sponsored by Outplayed. Ah, uh, time for another day of playing perfectly and definitely not walking directly into onboard tricks. It's just sad that I don't have a quick and easy way to share my incredible plays with an audience. Oh wait, I totally do. Introducing Outplayed. Outplayed allows you to save your favorite gaming moments by recording your whole session in the background, then allowing you to clip highlights using their easy to use editor. Share with your friends or share online to YouTube, Discord, or anywhere else. Best of all, it's compatible with over 300 games, including Master Duel and Duel Links. No matter if you're a streamer or just a casual, their knowledge base and ideas portal is sure to get your creative creative juices flowing. I've been using it for my Twitter uploads all week. Download it for free using the link in my description. Oh, yeah! Well, folks, another week, another episode of Progression Playoffs, and this set came out. Uh, Ignition Assault was released on January 31st, 2020, on the cusp of COVID-19 ending paper play for about a year and a half. This set isn't particularly fondly remembered by the Yu-Gi-Oh! playing public, but it holds a special place in my heart because this was the set that had just come out when I was furloughed from my job and started doing YouTube full-time. I can clearly remember how I felt in 2020. It wasn't that long ago. To think that so much has changed in that time has been spectacular, and I'm so happy that I had all of you around for it. Now let's talk about the set proper. Like the last few sets, it doesn't introduce any really powerful archetypes into the fray, though adding Mr. is released here, they're all kind of high rarity, and you need all of them in multiples if you want to be able to pull off the strategy. It does include a couple of individually powerful cards that will probably throw deck lists into disarray, but not change any of the brews that we've built over the past couple of weeks. The cards have been dealt, and I think you're going to see a lot of the same when it comes to what we're playing. That said, let's go through the individual card by card. The Attic Nisters all facilitate an unkillable boss monster that you just need too many of these in order to make consistently. So many of these are high rarity, and as a result, they are not likely to see play. With a couple of exceptions, Hiari Attic Nister is just a free special summon if you have an Attic Nister on your side of the field. Doshin Attic Nister is good for a Cyber Fusion deck, which we actually have access to. And... I guess Baruru is good if you want to send any Adagnisters from your deck to the graveyard. The Ancient Warriors are released in here, none of these are worth talking about, with the exception of Loyal Guan Yun. This is a super rare, and if only your opponent controls a monster, you can special this from your hand. It's got 2500 attack and can trade for a monster your opponent controls, which makes it like a really bad Pancratops. That said, a bad Pancratops is probably still worth playing. The Time Thieves get a new card in Time Thief Chrono Quarter. There's a new Xyz later on in this set as well that I think will rocket them to popularity. That archetype was almost there already. Redoer was kind of just a stand-in for any powerful rank 4 monster. As soon as they get a second one, which they are about to, they are going to be very playable. Abominable Unchained Soul is the best card in the set, and maybe in this series. You can only special it once per turn, and if a card you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. If it's special summoned, which you just did, you can discard a card and non-targeting destroy a card on the field. During the end phase, if it was in the graveyard because it was destroyed on the field and sent there this turn, you can special summon it, and if you haven't procced that first effect, do it again, and then place it on the bottom of the deck when it leaves the field. This is an unbelievable asshole in 3,000 attack. He's a body that lives twice and potentially trades for two cards every time he does so. It is not making it out of the episode. Thank goodness Dyer isn't editing this, or we'd have to endure a four-minute explanation of why Utgarda specifically is playable. Cataclysmic Crustified Calcifidia is fine. If an Earth monster you control is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect, you get to just free special summon this card, 2600 attack, and send a monster from your deck to the graveyard, of which we have a couple of playables. That said, the Earth monsters in rotation aren't very good, so I think it's unlikely this sees play. Water Leviathan at Ignister is a seven-star ritual monster. Many individuals have incantations, most known notably me and Leah, and this is a pretty decent payoff. If it's Ritual Summoned, you can return all monsters your opponent controls with 2300 or less attack to the hand, and you can target a face-up monster your opponent controls, return every Link monster from your graveyard to the extra deck, and change that monster's attack to zero. Once per turn during damage calculation, if it battles an opponent's monster, you can have the attack of that monster during damage calculation only. It's a really hard-to-kill boss that can potentially bounce the board and reduce an opponent's monster's attack to zero to get in for huge damage. 
The Megaliths are released in this set. Ophiel, Hageth, Oak, Phaleg, and Baythor are all pretty good, but unfortunately, I believe some of them are supers, and for that reason, it's unlikely we're going to be able to chain them together. To make matters worse, we don't have access to Fool in this series. It's released in the first set of sevens, so what you see is what you get. That said, if we pull enough of them, we might still try it. Earth Golem Adagnister is a Cybers Fusion monster. We already have a couple of cards that facilitate Cybers Fusion decks. We've got, of course, Fusion of Fire, the Salaman Great cards, Clock Lizard, and Salaman Great. What is the name of that guy? fiery fucker. So if we want, we could go all the way in on this fusion style of deck. I'm going to hedge away from it this week, but next week it's definitely on the docket. Light Dragon Adagnister is an unbelievably powerful rank 4. Uh, if a monster you control be destroyed by card effect, you can detach a material from this card instead, and you can detach a material from this card to destroy face-up monsters your opponent controls up to the number of Adagnisters you control. Usually that's one, but that's enough. Ausa the Earth Charmer is a really good link to for decks playing Earth monsters. Gravity Controller is an interesting way to cheat the Master Rule 4 limit. Tie Strike is a combat trick. We haven't had one of those in a while, but it's a really good one. Lightning Storms in this set at secret. Sales pitches may be good. If your opponent adds a card from the deck to the hand except by drawing it, you can reveal a card from your deck and add it to your hand. You get to use it on your next turn, and games should be slow enough that it's playable, but it's a question of if you think your opponent is actually going to proc this effect. Head judging is a really funny negation trap. The plunder patrols are released in this set, and unfortunately are just a little too high rarity to play. And finally, Time Thief Perpetua. This is a rank 4, made with two level 4 monsters. During the standby phase, you can detach a material from this card, target a Time Thief monster in your graveyard, and special summon that monster. You can target the monster that you just detached. So you can make this with a Winder, then summon back the Winder for two activations over the course of two turns. There are still some very powerful Time Thief spell traps legal, so I hope we won't see too much of this. So with that, let's get into the pulse. That's like the best guy in the goddamn set! Uh, okay, here we go. We'll just pull him again. Oh, that's a nice one. Uh-oh. Jenny, don't need that. There he is. See, we got him. I told you we'd get him again. Sure. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted was that. Oh, Light Dragon Attic Nister is huge. Wow, that's a really big pickup. Sure. Okay. That's a nice one. Okay, a second one. Oh, that's another great one it's good to pick up two of. Yeah, no, uh, I kind of want to play Megalith's chat, but you got to understand that we're missing Fool. If we pull the field spell, I will play it. Jack of Bolin, that's a nice card. <laughs> I'm not playing Plunder Patrol. Stop. That is the card that we were looking for. That's the card we're looking for. Need a couple more of those. <laughs> the supers in this set are just unbelievable. The supers are so good. Okay, that's enough. We don't need any more of that person. Definitely did not need that one. Aerotron, that's huge. Wow, Aerotron's big. Mowork! What a whack secret. Okay, that's good. Okay. These are these are turning out really nice. Three left. These are turning out really nice. There's our Baythor. I think we almost missed Baythor. Second Aerotron. Holy shit. And Ausa. It's gotta be Megalith, right? Wow. These are unreal. Okay, did not need that, really. And we pulled an Ophiel. Holy guacamole. Wow, that was a really fantastic pull. All right, well, let's see what we come up with. So here's the list, and unsurprisingly, it's Ritual. I think this is probably the last hurrah for this deck. It felt a little underpowered last week, and even though we've gotten Water Leviathan Attic Nister, that's just another guy that you can potentially go into and win the game instantly. We were never losing because we didn't have guys to go into, we were losing for other reasons. Those other reasons include our one copy of Incantation Talismandra, but hopefully we'll be able to not brick one additional week before these cards are removed from our pool forever. Let's go through the individual card by card. We've got two copies of Abominable Unchained Soul. Thank goodness we pulled this. I unfortunately didn't have room for the Guan Yun, but I think uh, how tight this list looks should be a testament to why that is. We've got the Chaos Dragon Levy near again. We've got three Bookstone, three Candall, three Pensaplume, and one Talismandra. Three Revenants, uh, one copy of 
Slave, Demise, Supreme King of Armageddon, one Chalice Line, one Baythor, two Executor, one Slayer, double Battle Lord, three Water Leviathan, Attic Nister, two Incantation Inception, the one Thanatosis, three Origin, one Evolution, one Vendrant Knights, double Dark Factory of More Production, one Metaverse, and two Renewal of the World. In the extra, we've got nothing new with the exceptions of the Ausa. We've got the Light Dragon, Attic Nister, and of course, we still have crap like Link Mail, Archfiend, and Baguska that we could theoretically go into if things don't go our way. Hoping for one last hurrah with this, but not hoping very hard. Well, the unthinkable has happened on this episode of Progression Playoffs. Firstly, we are about to watch Leah duel masterfully with Brent. And secondly, Gavin just made us all bust our peepees off. <laughs> Ga Gavin Post's first ever banger asked to <laughs> inherit MBT asked YouTube to channel. Progression playoffs forever. <laughs> he will ascend to the uh, series. He's going to replace Gage. Uh, fine. If you thought Simo's burn decks were bad. Oh, I got to catch up with Jank. And there we go. I just spent gonna, all of my funny currency. It's, it's all gone. Uh, you're going to have to catch up with me because um, I'm about to make some plays. Uh, unfortunately, they aren't good plays. Uh, so <laughs> watch out, we guys! Revenge of the Origin here. Yeah. So, oh, well, yeah. here we are. <laughs> oh, you were not lying. These were not oh, good yeah. plays. God damn! No, that motherfucker not, is damn. not making plays. <laughs> <laughs> wait, that was the whole turn? Hold the fuck up! Wait, 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 wait! wait. Oh my god. Listen, listen, you know we can Brent? summon, like, the, the Guan Yun, right? You don't have to jump the roofs for this guy no more. I swear to god, every week I play a deck that is testing, it fucking pops off, and we hop in, and then my hand... <laughs> to 12 bricks just That's pass. It, it's first. better to just, just pass you know if you die you could go damn i bricked and no one has to know <laughs> <laughs> That's true. just don't stop worry. testing stop don't, testing don't worry i have good plays i'm gonna gain 500 life yeah! points yeah! we're back on this shit i can't yeah, for now this. this shit ain't Why making it out i thought that's what you said last episode would have driven this out of your system bro you know, I think we oh. should have banned this last episode, except some motherfuckers had Ding Gearsu, Long Gearsu. So we had to do what we had to do. That's Yo! Ooh, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's hell really yeah. good. This is yeah. good. This is nuts. Yo! The dog, the dog, huh? Okay, this all right. Sick. Wait. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's nope. fine. Blind is fine. Oh, yeah. I thought we banned Redoer. Oh, there is yeah. another. There's oh, another. Yes. There is another one. Yeah. There's there another. is another. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, I can't kill this Slayer though. I, I guess I shouldn't have talked shit on you, Leo. It's... I guess I shouldn't have. <laughs> it's an uh, unkillable boss. Unkillable monster. machine. <laughs> Oh, I like the out. cauldron of the old man combo with the time thieves. I think uh, what's they, the combo? They really synergize. Explain the combo <laughs> to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, I have Unfortunate. to ask some questions about the time thieves. Would you not fuck any of the humanoid time thieves? Would would, would you I not? not would you fuck not them? fuck a single of the humanoid time thieves? So Perpetua, Winder, Redoer. Pretty, uh, a pretty attractive looking family. Question it's crazy. Mark? It is actually a one hundred percent fuckable archetype. Very can few of yeah. us. I was gonna say. I, need I was you like, to take, no. can you take the negative out of the sentence? Yeah, sure. Can you name a time thief that you would not fuck? Okay, again, <laughs> thief regular. There's a negative in the <laughs> sentence. Wow. I, I, Just... I remove that negative and I put in a different one. You want me to remove <laughs> all negatives? That's different. I want okay. all of the negatives. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't have any out to Perpetua because she's got 2,500 defense. She's got so, defense on her. Whoa, 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 whoa. You didn't even go to your standby phase. Yeah, you gotta go to standby phase. Oh, Wait, I'm she found out the counter! I'm skipping <laughs> my standby this turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So what, you detach okay. Winder, and then you get to just bring it back and search. Wow, that's incredible. That's pretty yep. good. That's, that's pretty, pretty good. good. Listen, uh, Leah, if you activate a spell trap, it's over. <laughs> I, I oh, do. I do. Yeah. I guess I do have to ask, um, can you think of any other archetypes with a 100% fuckability rate? I think Vendreds are up Vendred? there. Yeah. Uh, 
Crawler? Would Same you say brain. Crawler is up there? <sighs> Leah, would you you kind of shotgun your end phase? Would you like to go to battle on Winder? I, feel, I would. I would. Yeah, I feel I bad would. about that misplay. Sorry, everyone. Well, I mean, Brent shouldn't have ever been able to do that because I skipped my standby. But true. okay, continue. <laughs> That's back. actually true. <laughs> um, with Winder being destroyed by battle, and now it's the standby phase, I'll detach and special back the Winder. You're <laughs> oh, you're oh, you're oh my god, I hated you! You made it worse. Thank you no, so man. much, Gavin. Thank you so Thank much. You. Very helpful. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Would you like to go back now? No, 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 on. Yeah, ten dangles move around. Re <laughs> time thieves go back in time. <laughs> I'm going normal summon. Brr -ru 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 -ru. Yeah. Okay. Good. Gonna sure. activate. Brr -ru 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 -ru. How many of these do you have? So this foolish is an attic nest. One. Oh, you just need is the way right? on, right? Um, what do I want to send? Yeah, I think I want to send Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle, Don uh, Cheadle, Don Cheadle, Don Cheadle, Don Cheadle. Hey, this everybody, guy has me, quite Don a frown. Cheadle. We will special. Is there any lore reason why there's just two dark ones, even yeah. though every other one is so, a um, attribute? Doyon Adagnister represents eyes, uh, like, base level of... Um, like interaction with humans and after he realizes that there's no like world in which humans and uh the attic nister can peacefully coexist uh he becomes extremely gay and uh this one <laughs> represents the gay version uh the, the it's actually yeah. i thought you said getting the video demonetized was bad for you <laughs> okay doshin's fine uh no no youtube watcher is gonna make it this far in <laughs> <laughs> Have you they're, seen they're gonna... the analytics? <laughs> <laughs> Click away. Uh, this. Link off Time Thief Perpetual. Oh my gosh, finally, you outed it Wonder. for me. Thank you. Thank God. Gonna now make... Leah can win. Oh, oh wait, whoa, whoa, Leah. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Underclock, okay. Okay. Uh, I'll do underclock here. No, not my revenge <laughs> player. That, Reduced by like, six. Oh no! Uh, whatever will I do? Attack. Okay, he's at eighteen hundred. This Damn. is like really funny because you are gonna lose. You're like, oh, these bad plays, and Brett is about to beat you. It's very funny. It's we'll the only see. psychological defense I have left. <laughs> yeah, fair. For like my sense of self. <clears throat> It's hard I to fall Leah. this far from grace, from, you know, like X Being and Y for queen. all of... <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> That's what oh, happens no. when you get bimbo-fied. Ah, uh, we're not actually doing that bit again. Ah. Ambler Whale. Okay, sure. Uh, so whale. you just talked about, uh, the one underclock, right? So you guys are 28? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're just chilling. Um, I am going to use the protection effect on Revenge Red Origin here. Oh, no. uh, so what do I take? I'm at 18. You're at 28. <laughs> so I take 1,000. Uh, set pass. Okay. Um, this card still doesn't do anything. It's a really good deck. I promise. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Me every turn. Damn, I guess anything. I got to pass for another. I got to say, Gavin's week one deck did a lot more than this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can take all the counters off Slayer now. It's no longer being reduced. True. Uh, well, let me put him back up to 24 then. Brent, what oh, counters are Cauldron at? It's on three counters now. Oh, my God. <laughs> We are actually getting to a position where even if Brent gets outed on the board, I don't think he could lose the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, uh, this deck is hard. There, there, there are too many choices to make in frames nowadays. Like, it's hard. It's, it's, it's very uh, frustrating. Let me summon Sabersaurus and set just a break, please. Yes. Yeah. Go back to my glory days. To the good old day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Timewinder, turn back time. There it is. Yes. <laughs> Shut up. So, so this is Time Thief Adagnister. This is pretty sweet. Yeah, it's nice. 
That's cool. The synergy is that uh, both of these archetypes are good. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I should have I should have paid attention to something like that. Yeah, I'll just go to battle again. I'll try it again before. <laughs> All right, I'll get. I'll do Man, Revenge of the Slayer. Suck when I fucking. <laughs> Like, I have to load in against Danny, and he's going to, like, wall combo me into the sun with some <laughs> cybers bullshit. I'm just going to remember this okay. one where, you know, Brent is like, oh, man, well, the board state has advanced. I've added an additional counter to Cauldron of the Old Man. And Lee's like, <laughs> finally, my Slayer, over the course of three turns, has died. I can add another Vendred to my hand. <laughs> Uh, we'll get Revendred Evolution, and the Vendred that will send a grave is Vendred Streges. Just ignore him, Leah. He's just jealous because he's not playing Vendor. He's just again. jealous because he's not playing Rituals. True. I, true. I, know, I understand. He's jealous that he's not playing. No, he's a cool, super jealous. He's like, fuck, cool, I want a Ritual really, Summon really a fucking good Slayer deck. again. <laughs> uh, oh, wait a sec. Something might be happening, maybe. Uh, Megalith Portal. Oh, that's Portal. pretty good. Uh, let's do Revenge Red Evolution here. We're going to try to summon the uh, Slayer back. Yeah. So we'll summon him. I don't know why I'm declaring it. And the material is going to be the other Slayer from deck. Whee! And then we're going to trigger Megalith Portal, uh, which doesn't trigger because he's not a Megalith. Yeah, I was like, you got yeah. to read that card. Go ahead. <laughs> oh I was thinking gosh. of Incantation Thanatosis. I keep right. forgetting that the Vendreds need to be used on board. So I'm like, oh, like that's cool. It gets its effect. No, nope. no, it doesn't. No, nah. it doesn't. It's, Alas, it's a bad card. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> These are. Bad but I mean, cards. like, think of the anti meta call here. Uh, Not a boom. He doesn't. Amblo whale doesn't get buffed from my monsters being. It's actually a pretty good idea, right? Because like people are prepared to beat good decks. So if you play this deck, then you're gonna catch them off guard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like how, mm -hmm. like how Brent forgot to gain life points last turn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, it's I, all I part of the plan, point. baby. And and yeah. we just we extend the game long enough so that the bimbo gas seeps in through the vents, <laughs> and then we collect our free win. <laughs> no, sure, okay. This is her inventing the bimbo gas. Mm, I guess you do. You can just go into Perpetua again here. Nope. Nope. Good card. Better ah, card. That is also very good. So this destroys it, right? Yeah. Okay. We'll trigger his effect. Yep. Uh, so the ritual spell that we're going to go get will be Revenge Red Origin. Um, and then I don't have another Revenge Red guy that I'm going to bend. Already. Uh, I believe I can do it that way. Right, because it's an end if you do. Yeah. So I don't have to add both. Why not? Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. I'll go for 28. Yep. 23. Oh, is she just dead? <laughs> what oh, we're so close. We're 300 off. No, the cauldron. We're actually no. 300 off. Oh, come on. Uh, I'll man. just put you down to three. No. <laughs> if we'd done it last turn, we would have won. <laughs> if you don't win next turn, you lose. I mean, you would have done it for life points. Okay, this is when I'm going to draw a good card here. Um, or or not. <laughs> no, that does so <laughs> much. Um, yeah, I mean, I really agree. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Please! That was awesome. Let me finally a please! <laughs> uh. Ooh, Danny! Uh, whoa. You are forgetting how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Whoa, my head is kind of spinning. Oh, it worked! It fucking worked! Uh, Get down. My mouse is going to the admit defeat button. <laughs> Wait, is it actually? Oh, hold on. That's that's what I like to hear. All right, we'll just go first. What is this gas in my in my room? <laughs> Make your choice. Oh, okay. I, I wish a thousand bricks upon you, Joe. This is actually you really the kind worst, of deserve it after the worst on hand the that so I long. possibly could have opened. I'm oh, kind of the I worst was... hand you got. Oh, oh my god, god. Wow. it really was. Set wow. that, set that very day. Day. Oh, very interesting. Talk so much shit. No, you oh, talk a lot of shit. Lot of oh, shit. Oh, what an awesome combo. Oh, oh, I'm going to a deal one to this individual win loss ratio. Shut up. Oh wow! Uh, what am I supposed to do? This is such you an can insane tell board. With my <laughs> hypnotic rays. Uh, okay, Danny. I actually, know. wait, wait, wait. Hold up. 
I've been looking okay. up a lot of Sissy Hypno recently um, in preparation for this week. And I found out there is a brand of Sissy Hypno that is reverse. It's meant to turn you back into like uh, a normal person who listens what? to What? Yeah. That's Are you serious? So, like, turn- this, this episode. No, I, I will, I'm familiar with this. I will reverse Sissy you Hypno are? you until you yeah. once again can play Yu Gi Oh! Well, I don't know if that'll work. Uh, can I, I play I, I the game or should I game. not? Yeah, play no, no, the go game. ahead, go ahead. Okay, okay. Just, I'm just making sure. It's We're going to tell the story uh, we'll... of how Leo almost died to Minecraft. <laughs> well, now I want to know. No, no, no. It's not <laughs> interesting. It's not interesting. I'll tell you. Okay, let's, let's special summon. Leo showed up and she was like, I'm a millennial and I yeah, like yeah, Minecraft. <laughs> I like Minecraft. Shathana. Okay. Uh, we're going to normal summon Firewall Guardian. Very actually yeah. cool deck, Danny. Wow, Joe Thank really you. should take some pointers shut from up, you. I kind of agree. Shut, shut, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut <laughs> up. Uh, actually, let me think what this I'm summoning here. This is the sweetest here. revenge. If I can't win, <laughs> at least I can be petty. That's true. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, We can do some funny stuff. Uh, I think I should play. I want to play safe, though, just because I'm a baby. Uh, let's link this off mm-hmm. and make the, the, the devotee. Yeah. Devotee okay. triggers. Yeah. This guy triggers. Yep. And then. Trickstar Nightshade at home. Yep. Yep. Uh, let's go special summon Reclusia here. No, we're not. I'm going to link yeah. these two off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Zones. I'll link these two off first. Mm-hmm. going to banish this. We're going to link this off. going to make the. Uh, restoration point guard. Oh, this is the guy. He's kind of cool. This guy's okay. kind of sick. Okay, um, okay. We're, we're gonna now we're gonna switch some of the reclusion in hand. Sure. Um, we're gonna declare reclusia. Uh, do I even want to do that? I, I'm thinking on special here. Surely this is good, right? It's it's not bad. It's just like I don't know if like if if it's what I want to do. Um, because of my hand, but uh, I think it's like fine. I don't know. It seems pretty good to me. It seems pretty good. I, I I'm in your corner lot. here, Danny. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's kind of a cornered board. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, yeah. So let's let's go Reclusia. Mm-hmm. Targets. Um, Reclusia itself and the face down. Sure. Just like a boxing coach sitting off to the side, being like, "You got him, champ. It's you got actually- him, champ." Really funny that you thought I was Leah, Danny. <laughs> oh no! You think I don't have plays? I'll trigger the effect of Vendred Revenants. Oh my whoa, whoa, whoa. gosh! I'll trigger the effect of the Abominable Unchained Soul. Oh my gosh! Uh, what do you know? Okay, Joseph okay. had plays after all. Abominable uh, Unchained he had Soul plays at all. An incantation Thanatosis here uh, to destroy your Restoration Point Guard. Okay. Okay. That's uh. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, hmm. Unfortunately, the the destruction protection on point guard hasn't been triggered yet this turn. Correct. Yeah. Well, sorry for leading you down a dark alley, Danny. Yeah, no, thanks, Leah. I, I knew that. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I mean, for what it's worth, I think the principle of the play was good. <laughs> thanks. Uh, well, that's... Uh, that's it for me. Uh huh. Oh, go ahead. All right. Stand by me. Uh, unfortunately, mm-hmm. I don't have anything too exciting to do from here. Um, but I think I can probably functionally win the game. Uh, right, let's yeah. normal summon a second Vendred Revenants. Um, okay. We're going to overlay here and we'll make a light oh, dragon out of Canister. Uh, you know what? Do sure. we want to do that or do we want to make Wee Witch's Apprentice? Hold up. What was what rarity was Unchained Soul, by the way? It's just, uh, I think super. it's a super rare. Oh my god. It's a extremely good card. Yeah, I did uh, not pull this card. Uh let me I do some Prague. math here. Yeah, let's just go to combat here. Okay. Uh we'll attack in. Boo. Thirty-six. Mm-hmm. Uh, second main, we're going to go these two to the grave. And we're going to make Wee Witch's Apprentice. Sure. Back to you. Wee. She's okay. very weak. 
Stay on my main. Yeah. Okay. So I think this is the way I have to do this. I'm going to normal seven clock wyvern here. Yeah. Go get the token. <clears throat> yeah. Um, we're going to. You've been on this deck for a while, Danny. Yeah, it's it's all I have. It's it's the only thing I have. Uh, so, okay, I think this is just what I have to do. So let's go. Um, uh, let's link these off. Mm -hmm. For IP. Sure. Gonna special summon Draco in hand. That's good. Yeah. We're gonna grab the Reclusia. Yep. Getting oh, back Reclusia dude. is pretty nice. It's, it's very not nice, the worst. Yeah. We're gonna special summon the Reclusia. Yep. I'm not gonna trigger its effect here. Okay. Because we're going to use it as material. We're going to make Big Whale. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, sure. It's not the worst. Uh, so, oh, how is this guy? This is a, this guy this is is a Big a, Whale. Uh, 246, uh, it's a 32. Sure. Uh, we'll go combat. Yep. Hit into the Wee Witch. Uh, I take, what, uh, 11 here? Uh, yes. Sure. Oh, uh, 30. Uh, 32 minus 19. Is... Yeah, uh, 30, uh, 13? Sure. Because it's a Wee Witch is at 19, and uh, my guy's at 32. Yep. P Witch. <coughs> More like, thank you so much for that one. That was actually All really right. funny. Stay like one me. second ah! late to the guy. How am I bricking? How <laughs> <laughs> would be, Joseph? How would be? Now oh, you can experience oh the pain of losing oh, to a giant yeah. Amblo whale. Oh my god. You and oh I are god. cut from the same cloth, it's Joe. It's the same game. It's the same, it's the same, same game. game. It's literally the same literal game. literal exact same game. Oh my god. Both? <laughs> you know. All right, Danny, play Cauldron. <laughs> god. <laughs> Oh just, my god! I, I have just, like I would say probably eighty percent of my deck wins me the game on the spot, and you that know. was true for me too. But alas, it's just like the blowhole is too powerful. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> it's am blow whale. <laughs> Gavin, you're on fire god. today. You're really I'm giving really? the mic to you. I'm not speaking anymore this episode. You got this. Well, I don't. I don't have anything funny to say yet. I guess I'm just walking into the guy. Yeah, cool. Uh, what am I taking? Yeah, I, I, as uh, two hundred, no, uh, four hundred, because of uh, sure, we witch. Um, we witch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whoop up, ba da ba da, beep up, boop up. Because of we witch, what? Buddy we witch being back. in the grave buffs the amblo whale. Yeah. So yeah. soul comes back. Can't really uh... deal with the amblo whale, unfortunately, but. Oh, can't it? P Masquerade is so good. Uh, we're going to so pitch crazy. Revenants, and we'll get the new one. Alrighty. Draw me oh, an Unchained Trap. That's right. a good one. Draw for turn. Stand it's going to do you a lot of good it's against... It's unfucking real Oh, wait, this actually does do it. Does do it. Uh, oh, okay. it does do it. Oh, okay, okay, uh, okay. Origin. Okay, yep, yep. Oh, oh summoning Revenge Red Slayer, are we, Jeff? Okay, Hardly. okay. Hard. Something better? I forgot you had good cards. True. Uh, man, you, the, the Amblo Whale being IP'd is so fucking frustrating. It's, so it's, just, it's just annoying as shit. It's, it's very annoying. Uh, we are going to send... What do you think the flavor of IP is? Like, do you think she puts the roller skates on the monster and that's what makes them indestructible? We're going to send Water Leviathan Attic Nister. Let's oh go! My God. Oh, We're going to summon. Is that, from, is that from hand? Yeah, for Vendred Battlelord. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, pretty good. We are going to think here. Okay. I think We're... IP hops on their back and then, like, makes the Nan Nana Boo Boo face. You're gonna yes. get your ass nana in a boo booed. Ugh. Battle Lord call trap. Okay. You have to um, banish the origin. Yeah. Interesting. We are going to go into Ooh. Okay. uh underclock taker. Uh the uh I believe the unchained soul gets sent to the bottom of the deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, uh, we'll that's go right. Battle Lord here. Okay. We're gonna grab Chalice Line. Okay. That's All right. Good. I like where this is going. Yeah. I don't know what I'm sending to the graveyard. This is a little harder of a question. Uh, okay, I'm realizing that, in fact, the person who built this deck for me may have neglected to put some really good cards in it, so we're just going to be sending <laughs> <good cards. laughs> right, Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, <laughs> oh how the, t the tables have turned. How the deads have been, I wish yeah, I was. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Um, this is good. The Cocos good have bird. Chalice Slime effect here. Okay. Uh, thinking about what I'm pitching. What's Getting the into the incantations is pretty good. Like basically, the main way this deck bricks is finding no incantation incantations or the wrong incantation. Tell me about I, it. Seems like what's happened to both of us here. Uh, we are gonna pitch demise. Ooh. Ooh good. To summon Candall. Okay. So Candall trigger. Put him right here. Um. Fun. Finally what, the, what was the discard? The demise. the demise from hand. The demise. Oh, the demise. It was in hand. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Finally, finding Candall is sweet. Losing demise in the process is unfortunate, but you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, we have a path to outing Amblo Whale, though, at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But even that's like kind of uh, bad. We're just gonna get Origin. Okay. We'll go Origin here. Uh, we're gonna cycle the Chalice Lime for the. Battle Lord. Okay. Uh, we're going to go Clock Taker tar targeting your guy, I guess. Yep. Uh, so he is what? You did Battle Lord this turn already, right? It's been yeah, a while. Yeah, Trap. Okay, okay. Trap, right? Okay. Uh, uh, so you're it's losing 27 for this turn. I'm at 246. Uh, I'm at 32. So 32 minus 7, I'm at 500. All right, I'll go to combat and attack with Underclock Taker. Let's go World Lance here and damage Calc. Ooh, okay. Ah, okay. So I take... Uh, 500. Five here. Sure. Okay, that makes it sting a little less. Still frustrating, because now you get to cycle it, too. Yeah, I mean, it, it's like you have an out for the Amblo Whale, and Danny doesn't have that many remaining resources, but like it basically took up everything you had, and now he gets Amblo Whale's effect. So, yeah, I'm not uh, happy for this about one. It. I'm gonna tie strike and damage Calc. Oh, that's, that's really <laughs> epic. <laughs> what? Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. yes, so I, I just Danny. called trap for nothing, huh? Yeah, uh, Danny, we'll the combat it. trick. What? No, uh, we can protect with tie strike. Come on. We can protect with tie strike. No, you can't. No, no, oh, it's no, not I an cannot. I cannot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not an. It's not an Adagnister. Adagnister uh, amphibious yeah, 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 ship yeah. Amblo Whale. All right, yeah. we'll do Amblo Whale here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, and Joe yeah. gets Battle Lord. No, oh, actually, you don't get Battle Lord because no, no, you did it earlier this time. Oh, pff, duh. That's fine with me. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering. If, oh, I was yeah. wondering if you were going to notice. Oh, I was wow. like, oh, he's got tie strike. <laughs> I definitely don't have tie strike. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that makes it. Yeah, a little... I I did yeah. this in the wrong order. I was supposed to tie strike the. Uh, well, it didn't matter. It, it didn't matter. I'm a gabagool. All right. We'll do. We'll do point guard. Which is doesn't make it happen. Make it happen. Yeah. Oh, All right. Do you have it off the top, Danny? Uh, That's what I like to hear. It, it's it's uh, definitely a yes. Uh, if it was a no, he would have been like, "Come on, <laughs> fuck." Um. Okay. I mean, it's it's a Crusadia, but oh. it's not much. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, I want to I want to just back up here for a moment. I think you were supposed to take damage from tie strike, Danny, right? Uh, uh, yes. During yeah. that damage calc only, the controller of any monster destroyed by that battle takes damage equal to its original attack at the end of the damage step. So you yeah. had to take twenty six uh -oh. there. Oh, I I was just gonna let him. <laughs> I was like, I don't, I don't know. I I deserve those life points after the the 
forgetting Reverend Dread Origin. Well, I mean, that's a mandatory part of the effect, but. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm in your corner, but not that much. Yeah. Leonis is uh, pretty sweet, though. He's nice. It's all right. So it was right to summon point guard. That works out for you. This is the only way to do it. Ah, well, I put him there for uh, for the boy, and there it is. So I take a thousand. Oh, here. zones! Yep. All right. Battle Lord effect. Yep. Uh, jeez, I, I have no idea what I want. I don't have another copy of my my good friend. Uh, I think okay. Executor is crazy. Uh, Leviathan's nuts. Um. Yeah, I guess I take Executor. Hmm. Yeah, and I will refuse okay. to send a Vendred monster from my deck to the group. Okay, sure. You know, like, big fight scenes where, like, ev every bullet and every gun has been used, everyone's beaten and bloodied, and we're yeah. now just hitting each other with sticks? I'm, I'm so close. I'm so close. So I will just send a Slayer here. I don't really have much to do here, TBH. I think um, we're both kind of on fumes. Yeah, um, I guess I'll just... Uh, Joe's candle, Ugh, getting sucks. close to the base. I'm just going to go combat and hit over the guy. You got him. I know, right? Crazy. Right, I've got like 19 draws that do it. Yeah. Um, that Seems is little... one of them. That's one of them. Oh. Oh. That's pretty good. Oh. oh that's, that's pretty good. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty uh, decent. So light, light, dark, light, uh, right? I'm, <laughs> I'm actually deciding if I want to um play around World Lance. There's no way you're on True. two World Lance. Listen, uh, if I top deck the world lance, like, I don't know. He's godlike. Also, you can't attack anyway with him. But I, I can't well, if I refuse to activate his effect. Oh, yeah. sure, sure, sure. Just want to go combat. I'm just going to go for it. Uh, I'll attack here. Okay. Uh, that's, uh, 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 I am uh, dead. <laughs> cool. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, it, it's either world lance or it's no, a bomb, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I can't play around no, both, no. so. No, no. Yeah. Thank you, Leah, for handing me that game. I would just like to thank yeah, you for apparently. coaching Danny into a wall. <laughs> it can't always be my fault. It that can't is, always be my fault. That is fair. Yeah. That is fair. Occasionally, it is my fault because I am a big, I'm a big stinky stupid cheater. head. Yeah. All right. All right, Gavin. Uh, this hand is not a brick. Uh, oh. So let's see what we can actually do here. Oh. Okay, I, because of what I've drawn in my hand, it's actually, it looks more brick-like than it is, but uh, unfortunately, I've I've drawn Candall, um, which means that things are going to have to get a little weird, but it's okay. Incantation Candall. Oh, Leah. <laughs> I've both this card and one Incantation Monster from your deck. Uh, so we'll summon Talismandra and get I the effect. I love being privy to Gavin reading cards we have been playing for 12 oh years. Oh my wow. god. Fuck that you! Die! <laughs> oh, Thank you. You did good. put it in your deck, you bitch. You had it in last week, too. And let me tell you, it's coming out. <laughs> Go you know, ahead. Like, like as if you were ever going to decide a banned card. Waste your silly ban on infinite impermanence. What else are we going <laughs> to ban? Fucking incantation chalice slime? Nothing's broken I'm anymore. I'm banning so, you. So uh, question here. Um, since that effect was negated, if I summoned another talismandra, I couldn't get its effect, right? I have a terrible piece of information. So um, first, the effect was negated, uh, not the activation. And secondly, oh, so yeah. even... If the activation was negated, cards that say you can only use one effect uses a keyword that means, you know, attempted, even if the activation was yeah. negated. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, in that case, uh, congrats on your turn skip from your imperm. You got it, dude. Uh, please, please go off on me. Wow, Gavin winning on the back of a secret rare, rare imperm. Imperm. Wow, yeah. secret rare. Wow, a secret rare. This should have happened seven weeks ago, but he refused to play it. It's going to be, I was going to style, too. <laughs> you guys never let me have fun. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Really, really okay. cool nice. deck this week. Whoa, this really so crazy cool. deck. I, okay. I, 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 this is incredible. I have to f- face down Abomination, the the light, the darkness of hell. And uh, don't act like I didn't pass for four turns. Sh- oh my God, please. We were both out of mega resources. We were both passing each turn. Uh, okay, show me uh, the other copy of um, we'll reveal Megalith Bethor. The other uh, in per- in per- gonna yeah. do it. He's going to do it. No, no, you got it. Uh, uh, so we will go get Talismandra. Yeah. Uh, Talismandra effect is going to yeah. go search a ritual. Yeah. Uh, and the ritual will be Megalith Arch. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. Actually, the ritual is going to be Revenge Red Slayer. That's actually significantly better uh, here. All right, I'm, no, 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 don't worry, don't worry. It's I'm gonna, it's I'm gonna cool freak you all out coming. real quick. All right, you ready? Megalith mm-hmm. O C H. Ready? How do you say that? Mm-hmm. Ah, right. oh. Okay. What if the second letter of that word was also the first letter? What would it sound like? Anyway, moving on here. <laughs> Coke. Ooch. Shut up. Revenge Red Evolution. Hot. Uh, I'll retrograde. Well. Sure. So you take it here. I'll talk you. Uh, here you go. Time Thief in retrograde. Thank you. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. Um, we will activate the effect of Bethor here. We'll pitch it in order to ritual summon. Sure. Uh, we'll use Talismandra in order to make Ophiel, and yeah. we'll do the Megalith thing. Wow, Woo, she has good. it all. So uh, what's wow. hard about this one is that Eratron and Ophiel are both supers, so it's kind of difficult to get everything uh, like yeah. rotating. But if you've got the pool, it's quite good. Pretty good. Uh, and with Ophiel, we'll do the effect on the field. Whoa. We'll do the effect on the field, which lets me ritual summon. Yep. So we'll do that. Okay. Uh, we'll ritual summon Arch, and we'll declare this, which lets me draw and discard. Yep. Okay. That's pretty good. Draw. Um, that is pretty good. We'll discard Revendred Origin here. Oh, God. She has another one, and she was just like, no, I don't want that. Then we will declare Arch, and we will ritual summon using him... How big is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll use him and the Slayer in hand. Oh, God. In order to make Megalith Phaleg. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. So it gains a bunch for each uh, ritual monster in my graveyard. So one, two, three, four in grave here. Uh, yeah. So that means it's a 37, I believe. Pretty good. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Give me my cards back. Sick. All right, go ahead. Well, See, now, all it took was my whole hand. All you have to do is not encounter Please. a removal <laughs> spell. <laughs> I wanted to do it with the Bethor, um, yeah, course, yeah. but I needed to use it in order to summon the the Ophiel. I, you know, at least I got to do the cool Megalith thing. If I die to, like, just make Perpetua again and then do something good, like, I, I can live with that. <laughs> I can live with that. That's true. Uh, there's nothing cool right now. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. All right. Okay. Dude, what it if I get not to be win another again? Infip. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, if it's another infip, it's not that big of a deal. We. Um, it's jelly cannon. Please. What are you at? One, two, 37. three, four, thirty-seven. Uh, Eleven hundred. Please jelly cannon me. Yeah. God damn it. When the cannon is jelly. Uh, go ahead. She's just drawing the rest of the incantations. <laughs> Yeah, I, <laughs> I drew I drew the best card in my deck here. Ooh, oh, God. You normal um, uh, yeah, I'll roll dice. Okay. Uh, let's uh, just uh, we. Phaleg, come on! I believe. Oh, okay. No. Okay, please don't, uh, please don't do a tenny to me. Do it again. Oh 
Oh, oh come, on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I, I really need With just the like cannon is jelly. <laughs> what is, what's this guy at? The 20, 30 something? He's uh, yeah, he's gaining 1200 from the four ritual monsters in my grave. So he's a, oh, okay. Okay, I drew one of the best <laughs> possible draws here. Let's reveal Pensaplume. I was going to say Harpy's reveal, Feather Duster. Reveal Haggis. Whoa, yeah. that is not the name of the card. Sorry for being disrespectful, I guess. Haggis. <laughs> I like Haggis. <laughs> Every Haggis. time I hear disrespectful, I think of his disrespectful son, Dominic. I, I have started calling everyone the disrespectful son, Dominic. What are you uh, referencing? Oh. <laughs> you said it to me. It's actually pretty good for me because uh, I get Bookstone and then I'm going to trigger it to recur a ritual spell. Is that okay? Uh, yeah. Okay. We're going to get back Revenge Red Evolution. All right. Upon resolution of that, I'll back to the front the um, Perpetua. Oh. That's pretty good. Okay. So you're going to just tuck it under Perpetua. I get it. Um, in that case, I suppose what I should do is probably just go to battle here. We okay, then in main two, we'll do it. Yep, if, so if you we'll block that, Gavin, you're a, you're the best, like actual genius. I mean, I, I feel like it's not that bad for me to try to play around it here. No, yeah. Um, it's smart. So, it's just it's just crazy if he does. honestly <laughs> like I, I guess I don't lose if he does that, but it's pretty good for him. Uh, so we'll get Slayer, um, and then I think that's it for now. So beat this, beat this, beat my twenty four hundred. Whoa! Yeah. Totally no. True. <laughs> Come Do on. It. Yes. Oh. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. okay. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, that card. That that's a really, that good, a really one. good one. That's yeah. really, really good. Wow. Really, 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 really stinking good one. Whoa. Ho, ho. All right. That. That's like the one card. Um. All right. This changes some things. Now their effects are when you control a non-effect monster. Yeah, so you can okay. do all of them now. So a Shuna. This does worm lock me. Yeah. Correct. That's fine. Don't like hearing that. Oh, okay, wait. No, there is a way. Okay. So it has to be... Tell me when the record is... Oh, it has to be Ooh, actually, Leah, I, I did like the, the begging uh, attempt. Uh, okay, so Wait, where let me just make sure. Yep, okay. Okay, so, so we're going into combat? Yep. Okay, you're gonna attack Slayer. Yep. Yeah. Um, I could make you take 300 extra if I wanted to. Ooh. Kind of funny. <laughs> what would that put you at? That would put you to 500. Uh, I just, I, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, Before we get any further, I do want to uh, just let Gavin know that's a lethal attack. Phalag buffs all monsters. Oh all God. monsters? Yeah. Also, I'm going to coach you here, Gavin. Holy if you shit. do this, you okay. cannot use Shathana's effect if you're trying Why? to. Why? Why? Because you are worm locked, my guy. Holy fuck! God. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, so I should have attacked, with the, attacked with the. Felig was the only guy I never summoned in testing, so I didn't know this. I could have attacked, attacked with, with the, the incantations. incantations. You could have attacked They're with like the incantations. 900 apiece. Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, they're it's each 1200, so yeah, that's that, that not zero. Nothing. Yeah. But now they have 1200 defense. So. No, it's, that's pretty good. <laughs> Can't walk over them. There was no, there's no world that we get green. I just needed Hara to continue the conga line. So this is an attack position. I use the Shuna. I am going to more production away the Adhara. That's smart. So, so that okay. I can use that effect. More but production. That seems good. I will Adhara to get the uh, Shuna. I will. 
summon the Ashana. Yeah, that seems pretty good. So that I can wall up a little bit. I will gain 500 life points. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Okay. And now I will a shooter targeting. It has to be Phaleg. Okay. Or I'm dead. And unfortunately, another Phaleg will just. Another fail like summon will just do it to me, which I know you have because you have the megaliths. You have other megaliths in hand, right? Uh, I've I I've revealed don't... megalith Haggith to you. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's see if I can do it here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Leah, resolve your slayer. True. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, so he does die because of Revendred Evolution. Uh, thank you, Joe. Um, I knew that effect. Well, it's mandatory. I was so, like, it's, you it's know. not a real thank you. You it's could have just really attacked like, uh... the guard dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is a mandatory well, thing. Well, not this turn. Yeah. Uh, well, no, th- thank you for reminding me of the correct game state. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, Revenge Red Evolution. Um... Wait a sec. Which one is this should... Can I Revenge Red Origin that? I think I can. Uh, yeah, you can if you want. Yeah, you can. I'm I'm totally doing that. All right, <laughs> I'm doing it. Yeah. So at the end of okay, so let's rewind here. So at the end of your turn, Gavin, uh, Revenge Red Evolution in the graveyard is going to kill Slayers because I summoned it in my previous turn. Uh, it destroys it during the end phase of the next turn, and I will replace that destruction with Banishing Revenge Red Origin. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. then I'm going to draw the card I totally haven't already drawn. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not really a great way to, like, cleanly get the Phaleg back out. Uh, so we are going to use its effect in hand to pitch it to Ritual Summon a Megalith. Yeah. Uh, we'll use Bookstone as the material. We'll summon Haggis in attack, and we'll get the effect. Is the search okay? Yep. So we um, will search up Megalith Emergence. Uh, and then I think that's like the extent of my hacking power here. Uh, so let's uh, attack here. We'll attack with Haggith over Justicia. Yeah, I'll take 13 and then I'll activate Shatana. Uh, okay. Destroyed by battle or card effect. Banish this card from the hand or graveyard. Yeah, okay. So what are you destroying? I'd like to destroy Slayer. Uh, okay. You're going to destroy Slayer, uh, which was the wrong move, my guy. Oh, I, <laughs> I will summon Abominable oh, Unchained. This, I hate this Resolve card. Resolve your Slayer, so Leah. So, so I'll so add stupid. a ritual spell. Uh... Yeah, because you can do this during the damage step for some reason. Uh, okay, so we'll add Incantation Inception to hand, finally. Um, and then I don't have a Revenge Red guy to send. Oh, because we know you drew the Sturges. Yeah. Uh, okay, then we'll get a Soul Effect here. Yep. Uh, we will pitch this uh, fucking Sturges. Um, and we will destroy the, uh, just dish, uh, doesn't matter what I destroy. We'll destroy the justicia. And then let's attack into, uh, Ashana. Yeah. That all, the, d- the destruction happens in damage step. That all happens in damage, correct? Yep. I believe so. Yeah. Uh, and then in main two, we'll set a card. It could literally be anything, and pass it back. Megal- She's Come playing on. around in perm columns. I am. He has it. I mean, second counter. A cauldron in a dream. Gaining life points. Do I know what that card in your hand is? Uh, yeah, it's you, well. I, I know that it's incantation and a set card, and the set card could be inca- incantation. You actually don't. Yeah, both you cards. also you know both. I searched uh, Megalith Emergence with Haggith. 
In fact, I'll, I'll just help you out. Oh, here. that's Megalith uh, Emergence. Emergence. Yeah. Sure. I'm going to activate uh, Emergence right the helm now. Why not? Yeah. And summon this Phaleg here, if this makes it any easier for you. So this yeah. Phaleg was not properly summoned. Right. Uh, it was. It was not. It was, it was bounced not. back to your hand, and then you used it to discard to ritual. A ritual summon. Oh, that's interesting. Even though it wasn't summoned, even though it was summoned properly originally. If it goes yeah. to a hidden yeah. information zone, it doesn't retain any of those properties, and your hand is hidden information. So the ones that aren't, that were properly summoned are the Ophiel rest and Ox, right? right. Uh, yes, Baker uh, wasn't either. You're right. Yeah. Uh, so we'll bring back Ophiel. Yeah. Okay, so in that case, I will Dark Factory. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. Congratulations, Leah. <laughs> you did it, Leah. All right. Brent, you Dorngulus Dingus, it's time for me to send you to Pringus. Get his ass. Get his Dr. Seuss looking ass. Brent. Own this man. It's okay. I didn't need uh, to go first asked. anyway. Yes, you I'll did. You go first. You're See? Poopy pee pee. No, head. Brent. Brent knows the truth of this world, which is that going second is epic. Uh oh. Brent is about to learn <laughs> another truth of this world, which is that my no, deck is lying. not very good. He's Let's lying. go. This is what he did. No, this is what uh -oh. he did last time. Ooh. He's oh, a liar. Be careful. Be oh, careful, look, Brent. look. There it is again. <laughs> it could be anything. Brent. Brent there beat him for again. me. He goes two zero, and I go one one. I'll never live it down. Brent, just don't listen to Leah. Do your play. Yeah, actually, that's 100% correct. Yeah, yeah, don't listen to me. <laughs> if anything, just for the guilt. <laughs> Even if I am right. <laughs> uh, this hand is a little bit weird. Um, wow, well, where do I start? How do I start? Ooh. Cauldron of the Old Man? Yeah, slam that windmill slam. Yeah, that. no reason to hold back on that one, buddy. <laughs> uh, how much information do I want to reveal about this deck? Please. Well, Are going to sandbag a deck for the last episode? <laughs> yeah. <what> is that? <laughs> Again, like, what is that? Sandbag. Brent, for, for... go all out. Oh! <laughs> 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 Do you know how pathetic it would be if you were hiding the best deck in the format and we discovered after we're done recording and had to ban a part of it without you ever performing a combo? You gotta live your truth, oh, baby. Oh, fine, oh, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll normal yes. summon Unchained Twins. Yes! Oh my god. Oh lordy, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The battle attack. Oh, uh, wait, but can you is, defeat my dark factory of more production? Wait, this, this is going okay. all out. <laughs> all right. Lee, you got to read Rakea. Yeah, I know he's going to get to do it. Yeah. Like 15. Oh, he about to do it. Wait. So my what? game, I have to fight the stupid uh, dumb hey, why, card. Why aren't you doing Rakea? Come on. Rakea what? Rakea what? Rakea what? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Literally do not perform a play that Leah has I'll recommended. Listen. Just do not do it. Literally don't. Worst mistake of my life. <laughs> literally oh god words. i literally can't beat this fuck oh <laughs> says except by rakea okay Ooh. <laughs> i was like can't you just hit rakea itself okay. wait um, brent so to be clear you were thinking do i go all out and then the go then all out that you were thinking rakea. about holding back was normal summon rakea and yeah it was either normal summon rakea or set rakea <laughs> <laughs> Truly, truly I'm going all out, baby. Attack <laughs> position. Okay, we'll get Thanatosis. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. It's actually not very out. good because I don't want to destroy it. Dude, Stop. come on. Shut up. Oh, Die. whatever. Who you cares? are such a penis head. <sighs> penis head who can win with Megalith, unlike someone. Come on, yeah, chain me up. Right. I dare you. Oh, well, if you insist. Uh, no. no, 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 stop, 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 don't do that, no, 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 no. no baby, unchain baby, me, baby. get me, get me out. All right, we're going to grab, uh, Revenge Red Bastard, a poo-poo a bastard, woo, penis Someone, bastard someone breath. banned the, the, the incantations, so this guy can't play this deck I mean, 
They've oh gotten to God. the point where like they're actually one of the best things left in the format. Yeah. I'm banning them. Uh, we're gonna use candle Gavin? to get hendreds in my hendreds. Uh, we are going to activate Revenge Red Origin. Uh, psych. <laughs> We're going to normal Revenants. <laughs> now we'll activate Revenge Red Origin. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah uh, that's insane. Well, we good at all. This Rakea was normal summoned. Oh, that's awesome. True. That's crazy. That's uh, Battle Lord effect, right? Like, cool. what are you, stupid? <laughs> you don't know anything. Why do you get as a thought? So stupid. It is actually not fair. Uh, okay. Fuck, uh, man. Oh, it is really good. Just imagine if you called Monster. I was so boned. If you oh called God, Monster wow. with Battle Lord, I was good. fucked. Uh, what did... Hmm. We've this called Monster longer. with Battle Lord here, right? Yeah. Uh, we'll just go combat and attack here. All right. So I can't activate any monster effects. Including some that Fun, you might right? have in your hand. Uh, and now I can banish for Vendred Knights to attack an opponent's monster again in a row. Wow. <laughs> very, very you good card. You very good, that? Joe. No, I'm, good. I'm good actually. I'm all right. <laughs> you know okay, what? So this you know, I'm all right. Actually. So yeah, this dude right. has quick effect banish a special summon monster still. Uh, yeah. That would be great, right? Uh, but yeah, he does. Yeah. Oh, oh, the revenants. Yeah, the revenants. That's correct. That's right. Banish you forgot that, that these guys have effect. effects, huh? I did actually. <laughs> you yeah, played the deck. No, yeah, good. I mean, it never yeah. happens, you know, especially if you're on Sturges. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah. this is kind of tough. Are you ready mm. for a cursed sentence, Joe? Hit me. I'm I'm not playing Revenants. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to hear you <laughs> say it. <laughs> you would have had to send oh, yeah, it there, I... there, right? When you uh when you were resolving Slayer. I, I would have had I have a uniquely better Vendred package than anyone else because I got double Battle yeah. Lord. That's just like it's pretty good. That's what I got, baby. He is really good. That's a like, Battle Lord. The Fuck two Slayer that I have is like very uniquely good in itself too. Yeah. Like it means that I can send one for the other, and yeah. like it's it's pretty good. Like two Slayer is also quite good. Two of any and Vendred all... is just nice. <laughs> Are you just writing down yeah. the cards you're banning, Danny? Uh, no, what? No way, man. It's gotta no be, way. it's gotta be infinite and permanent, so I'm gonna be honest with you. No, nope, I've got, I've got double battle lord. Ooh, I actually, I actually have some bad news for you, Joe. Yeah. Huh. Um, you are a cheater. You're what? a cheaty poop pants. True. Oh. Wait, what I do? Revenge of Origin. Uh, let me read the last line of text here. If quote unquote revenge red slayer you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect you could banish this card from your graveyard instead oh my god oh my god that does not protect battle lord mm. wow anyway uh end of your turn i'm gonna uh ooh, put this guy back <laughs> in my hand. End of your turn, right. i'm gonna go for <laughs> oh dark factory of more we're gonna pitch the battle Danny, your off. fucking yeah. point danny your won. Point. yeah danny won joe's no, game no no that's mine, not baby. what happened no, Danny won. Literally cheated. Literally no, cheated. no, Danny won. Oh my God, you all are going to prison. I'm sorry, I should have noticed this earlier. I, I, wow. To, to be fair, I also should have noticed. This is pretty embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> Usually we don't catch the cheat in episodes. So okay, we'll go. Oh, win. Uh, we'll go Dark Factory of more production again. I don't need this candle. I actually, wow, I needed the candle. Wow, that was so fucking <laughs> stupid. Why, why did I do that? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, the Lord Almighty. All right. Uh, I hope a giant fucking unchained soul just owns you. Okay, uh, Battle Lord. I mean, for what it's worth, he can now banish the Monster. origin freely. So Shut I up, guess man. so. Like, like he can use it as material battle work. Uh we are going to and I mean Why in the world does Origin only protect we're Slayers? Going to combat but, here. The fuck? Wow. Okay. Come on. Uh, back to you. Come on. 
Because no. I think some of the rev- the revenge reds are like revenge red super slayer. Well, no, the, no, I'll actually tell you the reason. Every revenge red but Battlelord considers themselves slayer on the field. Yes, yeah. I, I was going to say the other one you have. I know the first line of text is this card is revenge red slayers, which makes okay, it extra uh, funny Dark that Factory. Battlelord is not. I don't yeah. need this guy. What's going on with the hand, Brent? All right, in draw phase, before you get to go. <laughs> Fucking Battling. stopping huh? my Look monster effects. So I really quick, act- yeah, before you like do this, you're still gonna lose the soul. Just saying. I know. Well, but yeah, I want but, to pop cool. right. so that they Great. don't have revenance effect anymore. <laughs> Great. Like it's a negate. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, I mean getting rid of battle. Gotta have to. Pretty pivotal, I would say. I'm going to I'm going to activate an abominable snowman to summon an, another abominable Everyone snowman. Everyone got this card but me. I'm uh, gonna, I'm gonna cry go... and whine like a little baby. Hmm. I'm gonna go battle lord here. Within your rights, Danny. Thank okay. you. Uh, I still have to discard for cost, right? Uh, yes, and you get to resolve the effect as well. Right. Wonderful. So, yeah, that's the effect, the quick effect banish from Revenants. So this is gonna, like, clear both of them, essentially. The- Mm-hmm. The discard happens first, by the way, Brent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I discard uh, AI oh. love fusion. AI <laughs> love fusion. I was so I close love on this one, yeah. You, Brent. AI love fusion. This is this is me in my free time. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, then what do we And I'll pop in? the bell. <laughs> Uh, I will uh, activate right, Wing and a miss. Here. I'm fucking the computer. <laughs> we'll grab, okay, so we're going to hit. We'll grab a Revenge Red Executor to hand. You know I'm hitting that. Uh, and then we are going to send... Can you all shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it works. Day and night. <laughs> so can I just say, my favorite part, and Brent and I have talked about this, but our favorite parts of last episode, watching it back, there's a part where Joe and I are talking over you, Danny, and being like... Being like, well, you can't think because of the sissy hypno. And at the right. same time, as Joe and I's brains are synchronized, Gavin and Brent are both doing the, the day and night. <laughs> I know. So good. I'm so right, uh, frustrated. <laughs> Bookstone. Bookstone, okay. yeah. I will reveal Impcantation Inception. Uh, we are going to grab Impcantation Pensaplume here. Uh, Pensaplume effect, we're going to oh. add back Battlelord. If only there was a way to get back. Uh, I'm picking the one that has not been summoned properly, uh, just so that we can deal with that when it happens. Um, Sure. I'm gonna go chalice here. Pitch Inception. Uh, We are going to grab uh, Candle from deck. Candle effect. We're gonna grab Evolution. I have a strange feeling that I'm going to die. You are going to die. Uh, we're going to go yeah. Inception here. We are going uh, to pitch candle. And kill you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we are going to grab <laughs> uh, Bookstone. Oh, we'll grab Talismandra. We'll use Talismandra Stop to grab summoning. Water Leviathan Atticaster. Yes. Uh-oh. This effect of Inception is one of the craziest it's effects absurd. I've ever read. It's just unfucking believable. Like um, recursion plus a summon that pluses you. This card's nuts. It's it's really good. Yeah. Um, we are gonna go Inception. Twelve cards in your hand. Tribute the seven for Battlelord. Uh, we are gonna go Battlelord effect, banish Slayer. Uh, we're gonna call Monster. Uh, evolution. We are going to send uh, Executor to Grave for Executor. Uh, we are going to uh, Dark Factory here. Well, that's an actually a very interesting draw. And you didn't Dark Factory the King of Armageddon this turn? That was End Phase, yeah. 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 So executor, this card counts as revenge red slayers, hysterically enough. Uh, we are going to inception, sending chalice lime for water leviathan at Ignister. Holy shit! Dude. And then we are going to kill you. Oh, oh my man. god! Oh my god! Yeah, you thought this deck didn't have up, place? Who left up Levy? 
Just kidding. Don't ban Levy. Don't worry. It was all under as a thought. <laughs> you fool. I will illegally activate and oh, summon a card that I, I can't see. summon. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. God, Battle Lord just. That's oh, yeah. God. It's well, Leah, between my two wins and your one win, I think this week has proven ritual supremacy. <laughs> Uh, two you wins. have one win! You have one win! <laughs> what? I literally won two. All right, you know what? Yeah, I expect, I expect a monetary payment in the form of PayPal. Oh, oh yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, if you think I haven't been paying off everybody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're all getting paid? <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, I, I gotta say, it feels good, though, uh, for rituals to be uh, busted. There, are, it's It's so unusual. It's not unusual to be loved by you. To be loved by Vendred Battlelord. I would. Okay, would. It actually would be quite it unusual. Actually would. I would. <laughs> I would actually fuck every Vendred Sans Kimera. Oh, you made me go first. Do you ever, yeah. like, you'd, oh, like, okay. reach over to give him a little kiss and he would be like, monster effects are not allowed this turn. I'm sorry. It can't work between us. And it's then the run away. It's the equivalent of a period, that. yeah. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I, I will say Holy this. Crud. I think that Vendred Chimera uh, really gives the like the six star suck. Jules, could you put up a picture of Chimera so you all know what I'm talking about? Uh, He's got okay. like the arm with like the hole on it. It'd be like being jacked off by <laughs> the Hulk. Wow, just, <laughs> just I'm amazing. just saying, just chatting. Just you're just things. saying stuff. I'm just saying things. Uh, this oh. is actually not the card I thought it was. What's the Vendred I'm thinking of? Ten out of ten, actually. This Who, is a ten this out is of not ten. the guy I'm thinking of. Who am I thinking of? It's not the guy you're thinking of. No, there's there's a there's a more fuckable Vendred. <laughs> Vendred, no, that's not it either. What? Well, what is this week four? Uh, I'm thinking. Oh, okay. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got oh, I want Regulex. You're thinking about doing Watt Kinetic Puppeteer, right, Gavin? <laughs> to move the Regulex. It's so. This deck is so fun. It's 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 pretty good. It's it's pretty much all I have though. So sorry I'm playing it literally every week, but it's it's all I've got. I mean, I, this yeah. is this is the third time that I have played this. Yeah, that's fair. That's I've played fair. rituals a bunch. I mean, honestly, you know what's you know what's been interesting about Vrains is like early on there was a flood of really crazy new cards every set, and I feel like they've continued to release good stuff. And this kind of always sort of happens. Uh, that's yeah. fine. But like the last couple sets, it really feels like the good new stuff that's like pushing the envelope on playable has like dried up. Yeah. You know, like a, a lot of this back half of Vrains um, has felt like, you know, playing the really broken stuff from the first half in various incarnations. Yeah. Um, not that that isn't fun, because we've got to explore a lot of crazy shit, but just like, oh my gosh, the first half of Reigns has to be like one of the most powerful like six or seven set runs of anything. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, I, I found someone... the actual card. Vendred Reunion. Jules, put that one up. I think someone <laughs> has that. What? What's happening? I, I'm just looking at Vendred Reunion. That's... <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Whoa. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I have to look at this card. This is like oh, Medusa Worm. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's like a fleshlight, but all the flesh is decaying. Oh, I know. I know what you're talking Please about. Please stop. Let's set one more. I kind of like the DB noises, personally. Regulator. Okay. Um. Huh. Let's go Vanguard. Sure. Well, you found the choke point, buddy. Yeah, right? Like, yeah, I mean, the, I, got, the I gotta stop this card. The doggo is just insane, so. Okay, we'll go, um, Reclusia 1. Uh, actually, we'll go Regulex 1, Reclusia 2, whatever. Yeah. Okay, so Reclusia resolves. Let's pop it and. Regulator. Um, Unless you had a response, yeah. No. Okay, then uh, Regulator resolves. Aw, oh, that's a shame. 
It's just occurred to me. I've been calling Time Thief Regulator the doggo. If you look at the background art, is it like the machine for um, tracking time? Am I allowed to activate Unchained Soul, or does it miss timing? Ooh. I think you are. It's an if, right? Yeah, it's an if, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you are. Cool. So, you know, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Um, okay. okay. So, I activate Unchained Soul. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so it's summoned. I will activate the effect of Unchained Soul, and we're going to target one of your cards. So Unchained Soul doesn't target. Uh, if it's allowed to resolve, you just crack one. Yeah. So no uh, way. I know he's crazy, Gavin. Yeah, no, it's very good. This okay. card is crazy. Card is yeah, this this card, effect. for what it's worth, this card is the mind meld. Like this guy ain't making it. <laughs> yeah, this guy's not making it. Out hey, this dude, episode. this 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 is insane. Uh, do you have yeah. a response to the effect? I do not. I do not. Go crazy. I don't care. Would you not have a response? Destroy to the everything on the field. In fact, I mean, I guess I'll I'll get Regulix then. Okay. Yeah, I mean that seems pretty good. <laughs> um. Okay, yeah, so then battle yeah. phase attack. Sure. So how two. much of this does everyone have, I wonder? I've got two. You know what I mean. I got two as well. <sighs> Crazy that we have Ga, like one of the most insane hand trap boss monsters. And he uh, just sucks more than this. And, he, and there he is like piss bad compared to this guy. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, we'll go for Crawler here. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Is it in defense or attack? It's in attack. Ah. It's in attack. All right, mm. it's in attack. So hold up. Before I hmm. redeclare that attack, let me think for a that's second. Fine. Interesting. So Tricky Dicky says that you become 3,000 and then you're going to take 300 and I'm going to take 3,000 and once per turn during the end phase of this card is screwing the grave of reserves destroyed in the field and said that this turn you can start summoning this card. And then you get to trigger the effect again. And I get to trigger the effect again. So, uh, yes. Okay, yep. It's a very obvious tie strike. So I'll take uh, 300. That does deal 3k to Gav. Oh. Okay, yeah. That's that's nice. Don't have much of a response to that. Oh, that's that's pretty sweet. That's crazy. That's I mean that's just unbelievable. And we didn't uh we didn't set that spell this time. I thought this was Gav's first turn. No. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. Those were the two set that he he went the uh, so bomb good. chain and Oh my god, it's unbelievable. Too. Yep, yeah, the deck's very good. pretty good. No, I, it's good. really good. I was, I was I, we, sad to... We gotta ban sad. two or three pieces of this deck. It's just too Bro, good. Bro, chill the heck out. Good. This deck is so good. Chill oh my god, I gotta hit this deck right Shut now. the fuck up. You're so annoying. Uh, I've lost both my games to Abominable Unchained Soul. Love well, it. Yeah. It's cool, man. It does That's not awesome. feel good. I love this card that everyone else has, and I do not. It's just Vanguard. All right, you got it. You got yeah. it. Another week. Another freak. And today, the I freak guess. of the week is Incantation Chalice Slime. Uh, I hope everyone is excited to watch the Chalice Slime Monthly happening right now at twitch.tv slash mbtu. <laughs> I'm really glad of all people that you have Chalice Slime. And Chalice Slime has helped you go 2-0 yet again with this deck, Joe. Uh, arguably. <laughs> depends on who you <laughs> ask. Um, anyway, um... We've got uh we've got an O2. It's Danny. Um he's gonna be doing the mind meld with Brent. Are you two ready? Yes. Already. All right. Three, two, one, go. Hey us hey, dragon, dragon Levier near. I feel like you two waited Thank a long you. time on that one. I feel like you two probably may have oh my God. I'm kind of waiting for the Bye. other one to say so. I I I don't know if I feel comfortable with yeah. that one mm. that, i i really don't understand that hit i think that chaos dragon levineer is really fair like it's hard to get monsters into the graveyard <laughs> to activate its effect God, but you're right you know what let's take it back uh in fact give everyone I a couple more copies right 
<laughs> All right, I almost wish I had banned Levy in the air last week, and I feel bad in retrospect for not, but thank fuck for finally banning it. Danny, yeah. you've got two bands here today. How do you want to shake up the format? I don't know. What am I supposed to do? I can think of one. Mm, I'm thinking of a certain chained boy that I do not have a single fucking copy of. Whoa, Abominable dude. Unchained Soul is one yep. of my bands. That, that's, that's correct. That's, that's objective. I hate correct. this card. Boy, this, this, card guy's, so this guy's nutty. Dumb. He's nutty. What and he was at Super, card. so like... It was likely that we pulled him, but not yeah. guaranteed, as you found out. Everybody yeah. besides Danny has at least two. And awesome, three, by the way. So, yeah, Love wow. That. That's really terrible for you. So we've, we've, well, got a lot, to... we've got a lot that still needs hitting. You know, um, Brent has uh, Baruru. Uh, Leah has... Gavin has the, the... Gavin has Infip. Don't forget that, Danny. Don't forget that. Uh, no, no, oh, no, no, you no, could... No. You, ooh, ooh. Right, what, are what are we banning from Joe? I'm kind of on the imperm is bad train. Yeah! yeah. Yes. No, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I said it's bad. I'm not banning it. What? That was <laughs> terrible. What did you do? How many did you play? How many did you play? He played How all many? Oh! oh yeah, because I have a bad <laughs> matchup against I have a bad matchup against the ritual deck, and I played oh, Imperm against the ritual deck and still lost. From the guy still who lost. Like, he lost. He impermed yeah. and still lost. Like I still lost. <laughs> I guess it's so bad then. The I guess you're right. Bad. It's terrible. A, that means the card is bad. <laughs> All right. So Danny, what are you what are you thinking of banning from Joe? Let's keep True. the eyes on the prize here. Yeah, <laughs> let's keep the eyes on the prize. Um, I'm thinking of banning an incantation just so that we stop playing this stupid deck. I'm sick and tired of I'll it. I'll give you Even the name if you want me to stop playing it. Deck. It's got to be Candle, right? But uh, so, how Candle. many weeks do we have left? This is the last week. Is next week, right? Yeah, this is the final week. Yeah. yeah, next week is the last week. So, like, I don't know how much, like, you know, if I ban Candle, like, what happens next week? Are we just like, is it power crept out, or is it actually useful? You know, like, is it just gonna suck? So, I think it's worth because oh, uh, it I'm just, you know, we're both going to be doing this again next week. This deck is great. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, Danny. Next week, I think we get Fool, right? Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah Megalith yeah, is going to be good next week. Oh, yeah. So getting even, rid even without out, the incantations? Megalith. Yeah, I think so. Um, Actually, Fool is not in next set. Oh, is, oh, it's... What is Fool in? What's in the next... What's the, What's the next set? Well, Echo. we should do that after we see the yeah, band. But, but... Yeah, it's, okay. it's in uh, Rise Fool of is the not in the Fool next is set. in the first sevens set. That's so funny. That's hilarious. Amazing. All right, we'll never I got mind. my band. Okay, ready? Okay, let's fire yep, it back yep, up. Yep. All right, what's the yep. second one, baby? Second band is a card I only have one of, and it's uh, it, it sucks that I'm gonna have to ban this, but I think it's still worth it. I'm banning Dark Factory of More Production. <sighs> Yeah. And I sadly, I Danny, that is an exceptionally I, good hit. That is I so hate this card. This card is so good. It gets you out of every bad situation, yep. draws you every card you need. Yep. It pitches guys for cost. It's so dumb. And I have one. I only have one. So it's very hard for me to like play this card okay. You know, I mean the 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 incantations, the tenies, yep. the like there's so much stuff that just is like, oh, I get to go into the yep. graveyard. Thank you, sir. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Well, so uh, I mean, those are pretty good bands. Yeah, I have to this say, this is a productive week. Um, what's uh, what's next week? The final set of brains, Eternity Code. Access wow. Code. Access, code. Access, code. Access code talker. What Parallel else is there? Exceed. Whoa. What Gear else? the Orcus Mech Knight. Oh actually, my god. This, guy, this yeah. one's actually looking kind of crazy. I was gonna <laughs> say, if you, if you don't know anything about Eternity Code, it's um, it's a barn buster. There's a lot of stupid bullshit. Yeah, in this set, is, you know what this, I'm saying. Link cross in a rival's Mister. And then uh, uh, after that, I think we have uh, the finale of uh, of Reigns as well. Maybe a week or two later, where uh, again everything will be unbanned. Um, more details about that in that episode. Uh, but uh, stay tuned, everybody. 